everyone and welcome to Heather's Happy Stitches. I'm Heather. Um, we are going to be doing something new. We are going to be doing 365 days of granny squares. So that means every day I will post a video of a new granny square and then at the end of each video I will be show uh, I will be doing a connect as you go so at the end of each video I will be connecting the new granny square to the existing granny squares so as we go we will be making the blanket basically so I'm gonna try to do traditional granny squares I'm gonna do solid granny squares I'm gonna do the hexagon granny squares I'm gonna try and do a bunch of different kinds of granny squares and show how I connect them together to make the actual blanket even though they are uh, potentially different shapes but I'm gonna try and keep them about the same size so we are using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a needle, and scissors. Cafe Latte is going to, since I have so much of this, I am going to be um, using this as my connecting thread, so my border basically. So this is going to be consistent with all of the squares. I'll put that away in a minute. And then for my first square, which is going to be a traditional granny square, um, I'm doing favorite stripe. And they are, um, both are a medium four weight yarn and we're going to try and stick with that for each, each square. All right, so we're gonna start with a magic ring So let's wrap it around two fingers, go under the first one, grab hold of the top one, pull through, grab hold of your working yarn, and pull through. So now to start, we're going to chain three, and this starts this counts as our first double crochet and then we're going to double crochet twice more so that's yarn over go through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two i'm just going to tighten that ring up a little bit and by the way this is purple it's coming out blue on the camera <laughs> so we're gonna double crochet again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one yarn over pull. go through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over go through yarn over yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and once more yarn over go through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we're going to chain one and we're going to do another set of three Oops. Three, chain one, and another set of three. Alright, 
So now you should have four sets of three. That's one, two, three, four. We're going to cinch this up, chain one, and then into the top stitch of the chain three, one, two, three, we are going to slip stitch. Slip stitch. Alright, we're going to chain three, one two, three. Or normally at this point right here, if you're going to use more than one color, this is where you chain or you change colors and then you continue working around. But since we are not changing colors and this is a barricaded yarn that will change color on its own, hopefully, eventually because all I'm seeing is purple right now um, we are just going to chain three one two three and to make it work properly we are going to have to turn our work so into each chain space we are going to double crochet well for this one we're going to do two chain one, two more. So that's one, two, three, whoops, that's two, so that's three. And we're going to chain one for our corner, and then one, two, three more. And now we're not going to chain, but we're just going to go straight into the next, the next chain space. That's one, two, three, chain one to make our corner and then three more one two three and now we're going to go to the next chain space And now we're not going to chain one, we're just going to go into the top of our chain three. So it's one, two, three. The top of the chain three. So now we're, what we're going to do is we need to work our way over into this chain stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to just slip stitch into the next one. And then into the chain space. So now, now we're into the chain space and we can begin. So we're going to chain three, two, three, and now do, we're going to do it again. Do two double crochets, chain one for our corner, and 
then three more double crochets. Now we're not going to chain. We're just going to go straight into the next space here. One, two, three. So now our yarn finally changed colors. And it just on screen, this all is purple for me. And it looks like just a really dark blue for you. And this one is a slightly lighter blue. Let me see if I change my light. There, that's better. My light kind of washes the color out. See, this is purple. And now the blue finally came in on the third row. Let me turn my light back on. All right, so now we did our three, and now we're gonna go into the next chain space. One. And then again, if you are working a working with different colored yarns throughout, you can uh, Uh, change colors here but now because I want to get the front back into the front instead of because this is this was originally this is the back so I want it to go on the front so we're going to do it a little different so we're going to chain three and we're going to flip our work and then we're going to work into this so we're going to Two into this stitch, and now we're going to go into the next stitch, and then we're going to just slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Right. So now we are going to chain three and we are going to turn. So I think that's what we have to do. Just keep turning because I can't slip stitch. I mean, I guess I could slip stitch back into this corner and then work back. That seems kind of redundant, so flipping seems kind of easier. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four rows so far. Let's 
Oh, let's see. Let's try for how many stitches do we have? We're going to start. Okay, so here's our chain one. We're not going to count that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve stitches. So I think I'm going to do two more around and see what that gives us. So I'm going to just go around as I have been. All these pretty colors and when it changed colors it went back to purple. <sighs> All right, so now we're going to slip stitch into the first. Oops. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And then we're going to chain three, two, three, and turn again. So this is going to be our last row before we put on our border row. Oops. And it changed again to a lighter purple. All right, so now we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three, which is right here. Top of the chain three, and pull through, and pull through, and then that's the last row I'm going to do. So we got a bit of purple, a bit of blue, a bit more purple, a lighter shade of purple, and then burgundy over here, which you can really tell the burgundy from the other, the other colors. So we're going to fasten off here. And then we'll weave in that end real quick before we put our border on it. And we're also going to count to see how many stitches are in between each chain three. So that when we do solid granny squares, we have the same amount. All right. And then I should probably do this one also. So hopefully when I take a picture the colors will be better and if they are I'll insert a picture of it here and the colors will be more pronounced 
and better looking. All right, so I'm just going around once. And don't be fooled if you do this, don't just go around because that still will come undone. So you have to go up into the stitches themselves and get yourself a nice, secure foundation. So now let's count. So we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So we have eighteen from single or single from corner to corner without counting the two corner chain ones. <coughs> if we did that, we'd have twenty. Right, three, six, nine, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Yes, we'd have twenty. But yeah. So we'll count it. So twenty. So twenty on each. So when we do the the flat or the solid granny squares we'll have twenty up twenty and then twenty rows up or depending and let's see let's, let me get a pen and paper real quick so there's my my little sticky notes okay so 20 stitches or put it at the zero or six inches. See there's zero right there and cross six inches. Or six inches. So I got twenty stitches or six inches. All right, and that is without counting the border because the border isn't technically part of the actual square. That's just the binding that holds it all together. So I'm gonna take my cafe latte make a slip stitch Pick a corner, cor corner, and slip stitch it on. And then we're going to chain three, two, three, and then we're going to do two more, two. Then we're just going to do the same thing all the way around as if it was a normal row or a normal color change. And slip stitch into the top of the chain three. River. All right. And that's it. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why, Heather, in the world 
did you pick that color? It doesn't match the flow of the square. And you are absolutely right. I picked this color because it is muted compared to 90% of the colors I'm going to be using. And it will make all of these pretty colors, the purples and blues and these, the maroon, it'll make it pop when it's all done. So the border color doesn't really matter. It's just a color that you like, that you have a abundance of. Um, because this is, it's just the two colors that are going to be carrying it around. Most people you'll see do like a dark brown or black or white or some other, like a neutral color. But I picked this cafe latte because it's like a, a brown green ish color. I don't know. It's looks like coffee like coffee with milk in it basically like that whitey brown color and I like it I really like this color so I I like the color and I have an abundance of it so it's a good color but this is our first block of the 365 blocks we are going to do so, da, da 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 Now only 364 more days to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I hope you stay tuned for all of the rest of the 365 days. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.